Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Okay, this time I'm going to be talking about the Long Bladed Toad Sticker by Rough Rider. Now, this is an older knife. It came out around 2012-2013, and uh, it's been sitting in my collection ever since, and I really do like this knife. And uh, what drew me to it, I mean, it, as soon as they brought it out, they showed the the box on uh, Knives Live TV, and I saw this box, and um, they didn't even pull the knife out of the box yet. And I was already on the phone dialing because I wanted this knife uh, that badly. And the knife they had uh, on the show that night was this one right here. Uh, the one in the, uh, I think they called it Blue... Uh, blue swirl and uh, I don't know if you can see it very well there but it is beautiful it's like blue and bronze and purple all swirly together in, a, in an acrylic handle uh, and it's from end to end there's no bolsters or anything brass pins brass liners stainless steel back spring and a single blade and you can tell just looking at it it's kind of like a melon tester even though they were calling it a toad sticker uh, but when you open it up, it's got this wonderful blade going on here. Uh, let me wipe it off. And what it is, is uh, it starts dropping from the tang all the way down to the point in just one long arch. And the bottom portion here is flat. It's, so basically, this is one long, skinny Warncliffe blade, uh, even though it doesn't really look like a Warncliffe. But you've got a blade that's uh, what right there, uh, four and a half inches long, and at the tang, if you can see there, it's only. Oops, let's get it in frame maybe, and you can see there, at the at the tang, it's only a quarter inch wide. So, very long, skinny blade. Um, close. The knife is. Uh, right at uh, five and a quarter, maybe five and three eighths of an inch is long. So very slender knife. It is a melon tester style knife, uh, but it's not a true melon tester. Um, this blade is not the kind of blade you usually see on a melon tester. Um, here is a Rough Rider melon tester. I'll do a review on this knife later, but uh, you can see the difference in the blades. The, uh, the one on the toad sticker, that long Warncliffe, uh, is totally different than the typical spear kind of blade that you would have on a melon tester. Uh, another type of blade you'd see on a melon tester sometimes will be a serrated blade, but it will still have more of a spear point type of uh, blade going on. This thing though, just long and skinny, and it looks like it's something that you'd want to be stabbing things with, but uh, the only thing you'd really want to try and stab with it is probably like a tote or something because blade does not lock and uh, you really don't want to be stabbing anything with an unlocking blade like that. I guess you could uh, pinch up on the end there but there's really no choil there so your your finger could easily slip up onto the blade and then uh, that little cut out there would be really handy because it would stop the blood from running off of the edge of that uh, sharp uh, edge there into the uh, workings of your knife. So definitely not something you want to poke anything with, but still a pretty cool knife and a, kind of a unique uh, take on a melon tester. Now, as you can tell, I've got two of them, and that's because uh, I, I remember when this was airing on the uh, show, I actually uh, emailed them at the time asking, hey, is this going to come out in white smooth bone? And the response back was, we'll see which usually meant to me, no, you're never gonna see this in white smooth bone. Um, but lo and behold, uh, a month later, the catalog arrived at my house and it was in white smooth bone. Uh, so I had this one already and I was like, well, I'll, I really just wanted one and I just wanted the box and do I really wanna get another one? It's like, hell yeah, I wanna get another one because I want one in white smooth bone. So I ended up picking up a second one. So I ended up with two of them. And then there's a third one that also was in a swirly plastic. And I was like, well, no, really, I just wanted one. 
I already got snookered into buying two because uh, they didn't let me know the white smooth bone was coming. So um, I just ended up picking up the white smooth bone. As you can tell again, uh, brass liners, brass pens, white smooth bone, and that wicked long blade. Uh, really cool knife and a really good snap going on with it. And it looks great in both swirly plastic and white smooth bone. Um, and now to this day, I keep thinking, man, I should have picked up the other one. But at the time, I was thinking, well, I wonder if this is going to come out in other uh, handle materials and everything else. And, you know, and then I'll buy, if I get the other one in this other plastic, I think it was like a red swirl or something like that. Then what am I going to do? Am I going to get the one that's in yellow uh, uh, comp? And am I going to end up picking up the one that is in saw cut bone and so on and so forth? So I stopped. Little did I know there are only going to be three of them. If I'd have known, I would have picked up the third one. But that's the way it goes, I guess, uh, in the world of collecting. But on the bright side, I do have the one in white smooth bone, the one that I really wanted. And uh, an interesting factoid about this is if you look at the tank stamp on the uh, white smooth bone here, uh, if you can see that, it is number 1202. And the one in the uh, blue swirly plastic, that one is 1204. So the original release was supposed to be in white smooth bone. However, the blue swirly plastic hit the, uh, the stores first so uh, that's the way it goes if uh, if it would have came out in the order of the numbers listed on the knives I would have probably just got the white smooth bone and would have never picked up this one and uh, actually I'm pretty glad I got this one because it just looks really cool I love that uh, swirly plastic and usually I'm not a swirly plastic guy short of a tortoise shell and this is close enough to tortoise shell that I usually throw it in with my tortoise shell collection, but it's not a true tortoise shell. But that brown looks really great with that blue. And the white smooth bone looks good in my white smooth bone collection. So there you go, my uh, long bladed toad sticker. Not a true melon tester, definitely not a stiletto, but still a pretty cool knife. Uh, and as usual, Rough Rider knife made in China, 440A, true sharp stainless steel. So there you have it. Uh, brass liners, brass pens, uh, stainless steel back spring, and a pretty cool knife. Did you notice that the little frog on the box has a tattoo? It's a heart with mom in the middle. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats, and if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.